things i love most seashells they're among my earliest memories i was 5 years old walking barefoot along the golden sands of a kachiawar beach collecting shells and cowries and taking them home to fill up an old trunk some of these shells have remained with me through the years i still have one which i place against my ear to listen to the distant music of the arabian sea a jackfruit tree stood outside my grandfather's house in dehradun it was easy to climb and generous with its shade and it stuck with a large hole where i kept my marbles sweets prohibited books and other treasures i have always liked the smell of certain leaves perhaps even more than the scent of flowers crushed germanium and chrysanthemum leaves mint and myrtle lime and neem trees after the rain and the leaves of ginger marigolds and nasturtium thymes of course there were other smells which as a boy i especially liked the smells of pilau and kofta curry hot jelly beans roast chicken and fried prawns but these are smells loved most by gourmet and most boys and are not as personal as the smell of leaves and grass i have always liked trains and railway stations i like eating at railway stations hot gram peanut puris oranges as a boy i travel to shimla on a little train that crawls round and through the mountains in march the dowers on the rhododendron trees provided splashes of red against the dark green of the hills sometimes there would be snow on the ground to add to the contrast what else do i love and remember of the hills smells again the smells of fallen pine needles cow dung smoke spring rain brushed grass the pure cold water of mountain streams the depth and blueness of the sky in the hills i have loved forests in the plains i have loved single trees a lone tree on a wide flat plain even if it is a thin crooked nondescript tree gains beauty and nobility from its isolation from the precarious nature of its existence of course i have had my favorites among trees the banyan with its great branches spreading to form roots and intricate passageways the peepal with its beautiful heart shaped leaf catching the breeze and fluttering even on the sweetest of days it is always cool under a peepal the jarkanda and gulmohar bursting into blossom with the coming of summer the cherries peaches and apricots flowering in the hills the tall handsome chestnuts and the whispering devdars devdars have often inspired me to poetry one day i wrote trees of god we call them planted there when the world was young the first trees their fingers pointed to the stars older than the cedars of lebanon several of these trees were cut down recently and i was furious they cut them down last spring with quick and efficient tools the sap was rising still the trees bled slaughtered to make furniture for tools and which flower is the most redolent of india not for me the lotus or the water lily but the simple marigold fresh golden dew drenched kissed by the morning sun the smell of the sea i lived with it for over a year in the channel islands i like the sea mist and like the fierce gales that swept across the islands in the winter later there were the fox of london i did not like them but they made me think of dickens and i walked to wapping and the east india dock road and i watched the barges on the thames i had my favorite pub and my favorite fish and chips shop there were always children flying kites from primrose hill or sailing boats in the ponds on hampstead hills heath Once I visited the gardens at Kew and in a hot house, moist and smelling of the tropics, I remembered the East and some of the simple things I had known: a field of wheat, a stack of sugar cane, a cow at rest, 
and a boy sleeping in the shade of a long red fingered poinsettia and I knew I would go home to India. Thank you for attending this session. Do share and subscribe to this channel for more lessons like this. Check out other video lessons by clicking on the video.